you're marking your catalogs along with us in the International Junior Holstein Show, there were 21 spring yearling heifers exhibited. Entry 90, number 96 placed second in the class, Arethusa Jasper Reese, exhibited by Chelsea Ross of Lowville, New York. Entry number 97 was 13th. Number 98 placed third, Mackland Gold Juliet, exhibited by Anna and Emma Culbertson of Elgin, Minnesota. Entry number 99 was sixth. Entry number 100 placed 10th. Entry number 101 was 20th. 102 was 17th. 103 placed 8th. Entry number 105 was our winning entry, Ms. Blonde and Dundee Bree, exhibited by Chloe Vosters of Kokona, Wisconsin. Entry number 106 placed 14th. 107 was 15th. 108 placed 12th. Entry number 110 placed 18th. Entry number 111 was 11th. Entry number 112 placed 5th and was our Bread Known Award winner, Crawl Jasper Eventful, exhibited by Cassie Crawl of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Entry number 113 placed 4th. 114 placed 19th. Entry 115 was 21st. Entry 118 placed 7th. Entry added entry number 2886 placed 16th. Her name was Care Path Fortune Flakes, exhibited by Christopher Karasek of Baldwinville, New York. And entry number 2888, placed ninth in the class, Dunn's Pride Pro Cupid, exhibited by James Dunn of New Ringgold, Pennsylvania. Now in the show ring, and in the International Junior Holstein Show, is our Winter Yearling Heifer class. The premiums and awards in this class are sponsored by Second Look Holsteins, the Hodorfs of Eden, Wisconsin. Placings are complete in the Ayrshire Spring Yearling class. The following juniors, please step forward. Placing second, entry 414, Briarwoods Madison, exhibited by Kimberly Canassel and Dylan Tyndall of Taylorsville, Kentucky. First place junior, entry 408, P&A BBK Giggles, exhibited by P&A Ayrshire's and Jacob Warden of Dyersville, Iowa. Placing third in the class, Entry 412, Grandview Burdett Diamond, exhibited by Tim Bush, Midu, and Hope Hahn of Cecil, Wisconsin. Second in the class, entry 409, Cowbell Pandelero Sierra, exhibited by Christine Shelsley of Canton, New York. And your winning entry, and also first bred known, P&A Rawhide Betsy, exhibited by P&A Ayrshire's and Cruz of Dyersville, Iowa. Judge your comments. 
Well, a beautiful class of spring yearlings and saying that, just a handy winner in the first place heifer. A heifer that has the advantage in size and scale over everything in the class, and especially over the heifer that we have in second place. She's a longer-bodied heifer from end to end, and just more mass, more volume throughout than a beautifully balanced heifer that we have in second, ultra-dairy heifer that we have in second. And that's the advantage that the second heifer goes over the third heifer. I apologize to both these two people. I switched them at the end, and I don't like to do that, but the second heifer heifer just grows on you with her overall sharpness and clean cutness throughout and she's much more feminine about the front end just a little longer and leaner in the neck than the darker heifer that's in third then three over four the advantage in dairiness she's just a, a longer in her neck and cleaner throughout her, her bone structure she's just a little bit flatter in her bone and then deeper in her rib than the heifer in fourth four over five the fifth heifer I told the gentleman leading her she just doesn't want to give me a good look and I think if she did I might be able to move her up just a touch, but she just uh, wants to carry herself in an unsightly fashion, and that's the reason I have her where she's at. She's just not quite giving me this, the look that I'd like to have on her. She goes over the next effort, though, on the advantage she does have in tracking out on her rear legs, just a little freer in her rear legs, a little more comfortable, if you will, in her rear legs than the heifer that follows her in six. Really nice classic uh, heifers and quite a handy winner in the first place heifer.